Hey, welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. In today's video, I'm going to go over the top 10 cards of 2022. We had a bunch of bangers. So let's just take a look and see which cards are worth the most, which cards are the most awesome. And then let's open some packs and see if we can pull them, of course, obviously. Okay, I've made a spreadsheet uh, narrowing down the top 10 cards. I'm going to go one at a time. I have them whited out so you can't see. Uh, I'm super pumped. So let's just take a look. I obviously know what they are because I have prepared the spreadsheet, but um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is the 10th most valuable card. Came out the Rayquaza V Max. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, here we are. This card looks absolutely sick. I love everything about it. Uh, current market value is $48.41. The last three months, it started off high when Silver Tempest first came out, dropped, and now it is starting to rise again. So it hit a low of $39.84. Now it's climbing back just uh, under $50 for this card. Looking pretty sick. So there's one for Silver Tempest. Uh, number two, or number nine, actually, we got another Trainer Gallery. These are the only two Trainer Galleries on the list, the Pikachu VMAX. Holy cow. Let's take a look at this thing. Looks amazing. Lost Origin hit it out of the park with this Trainer Gallery card. It's like the Chunkachu, plus we got, uh, I think it's Red, who's right there. Looking absolutely awesome. The three-month graph here. So we, uh, in November, hit a low of $41.81. Now it's it did hit $50 again. Now it's down to $48.86 or $48.67 currently. Um, this card also looks absolutely slick. I don't think I've pulled any of these top hitting cards. So we got to change that for sure. Okay, number eight on the list. We got da, 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 Origin Form Palkia V. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Also a really slick looking alt art card from Astral Radiance. Looks absolutely breathtaking. The artwork Pokemon has done in 2022, they've knocked it out of the park. And I don't think they're slowing down because the artwork in Crown Zenith, from what I've seen, looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to open it. This card, the three month graph, uh, been a little bit up and down. Started at 51.50. That's in middle of October 2022. Went up to 56.57. And then it's had a couple uh, valleys and peaks and currently down below $50. 49.85. Uh, right now it's saying $50.33. So it's, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this one. Now we're on to number seven. What do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I just showed you it is the other Astro Radiance. We got Origin Form Dialga. This, look at the colors on this card. Absolutely breathtaking. Again, completely crushing it in Astro Radiance. Um, this card had a big rise in the middle of October up to 5781. Now back down to $51, up again a little bit, then back down, and now currently sitting at $53.40. All right. So number six, we got, let's see, Charizard V-Star Secret. Maybe my favorite card of all time. Look at this thing, the rainbow card. It does Charizard proud. Absolutely brilliant. Three months, it has gone up and down a little bit. It's currently on the rise to 85, 87.55. The one year mark, this card has come way down because it was really high when it first came out in Brilliant Stars. Dropped a lot to about 200 bucks and then all the way down to 80, hit a low of like 77. Yikes. Down, now it looks like it's starting to rise up. If you take a look at the six month graph, still down quite a bit. So maybe a good time to get into this card, or we could just try and actually pull all these cards. Now, before we get into the top five, I have five honorable mentions listed to the right here. These ones didn't quite make the cut, but pretty darn close. So we have the Arceus V from uh, Brilliant Stars. 
sweet looking card. Uh, then we have the Rotom V Alt Art, also a sweet looking card. I've seen both of these. I've actually, uh, I didn't personally pull them, but when me and my buddy Josh were pulling cards, he pulled both of these at different points in time. Uh, and then we have the Unknown V. This is easily my favorite card out of Silver Tempest. Looks absolutely brilliant. Colors are so, so cool. It came in at $40.76, just a little bit below the top 10. Lugia V-Star, the rainbow, also looks absolutely amazing. I pulled the gold card of this one uh, not too long ago on the channel. No, I've never pulled the rainbow. And last of the... Uh, Ones that just didn't quite make it is the Hisuian Sneasler V. Also seen this one pulled, not personally pulled it. That one came in at $38.04. Okay, we're on to number five. What do you think it is? Let's take a look. Just showed you, I think. It is the Machamp V Alt Art. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Most valuable card of Astral Radiance. Looks really cool. Machamp is just carrying a crap load of stuff through the market. Looks amazing. This one on the graph has had a big spike in December, all the way up to $128. Now it just hit a three month low of 110. Now it's currently on the rise. So I don't know, could be a good chance to buy this one at a decent price, but it's hard to say. Currently sitting at $112.11. Okay, we're on to number four. We got. Aerodactyl V alt art from Lost Origin. We're getting into the big hitting cards. All of these top five are worth over $100. Absolutely insane. Let's take a look. This is the one that Pokerev could not pull for the longest time. He opened an insane amount of packs to not pull this. I think it took him like 2,700 packs to finally get this card. Insane. Uh, this one as well went uh, skyrocketing here in November up to $133, hit it almost again in December. Now it is dropping pretty drastically down to $121.06. That is the low. Let's take a look at the six month real quick. Um, yeah, so once it kind of, uh, once the set kind of hit its stride, it hit that peak of 144 dropped and now it's kind of just been sitting in that $120 range for a while. Okay, we're on to the top three. Let me know in the comments, what are your guesses for the top three before I reveal? Number three, we got Charizard V Alt Art. This is Brilliant Stars. Let's take a quick look at this one. Charizard is fighting Venusaur. In the background, we got some fire. Man, this card looks absolutely sick. Three-month graph. This one also going down pretty drastically. So Brilliant Stars single cards are currently on the decline, it looks like. Uh, hit a high in November of $209.53. Currently at a three-month low, $175.86 right here six months it really spiked from august to end of october now it's currently going down so it'll be interesting to see where this card goes i would love to pull any of these i mean any of the top 15 cards is a good day for sure we're on to number two uh i think you probably know if you follow pokemon at all what these top two cards of 2022 are if not here we go number two is the lugia v alt art from Silver Tempest, easily the most popular card uh, from Silver Tempest. It looks absolutely amazing. Seen tons of people online pulling this card. It doesn't seem to be all that hard to pull, or maybe it's just I just follow Pokemon too much and everyone is loving it when they pull this card. I haven't pulled it yet. Um, it sat really high for, this is right as Silver Tempest was releasing. Then it dropped quite a bit, but it's been pretty uh, safe at that $200 mark. Let's see. Um, I mean, this this set has only been around for less than three months. So we'll see what the market does. Right now, it seems like it's kind of at its low. I'd be interesting to see whether this set goes up in the future or not. This is easily the biggest hitting card from Silver Tempest, which means the number one value card of 2022 is of course 
the one that I want, the Giratina V Alt Art. This card is absolutely insanely good. It's so intricate, so colorful. Uh, current three month chart, it, it was actually quite a bit lower than it currently is three months ago. Middle of October, it was sitting at $218.86, hit a peak of $288.64 early December, and now it is on the decline a little bit. $265.37 is what it's currently sitting at. Um, man, what a list. Rayquaza VMAX, Pikachu VMAX. So two trainer gallery cards, absolutely insane. Uh, Pikachu, that one is just so good. The uh, two origin form Palkia and Dialga from Astral Radiance, both very cool looking cards. Then we got the Charizard V Star from Brilliant Stars, the Machamp from Astral Radiance. So let's just quickly count. I quickly just typed up the, the four sets. So Rayquaza V Max, Trainer Gallery from Silver Tempest. We have the Lugia V from Silver Tempest as well. Those are the only two from Silver Tempest. Pikachu VMAX is a Lost Origin card. We also have the Aerodactyl V and the Giratina V. So three from Lost Origin. And Brilliant Stars, we have the Charizard V, the Charizard V Star. Uh, so only two. And then Astral Radiance, we have the Machamp. We have the Origin Form Dialga and the Origin Form Palkia three so three two three two that equals ten so i have five packs of each of these sets let's see if we can just pull one i know it's a long shot out of 20 packs but you never know what can happen with pokemon let's get into the sets i will flip my screen around and see you on the other side okay we got 20 packs total five packs of each set we're starting from the first Brilliant Stars, and going through to the last, Silver Tempest, let's start with Brilliant Stars and see. Brilliant Stars has two hits that we're looking for. The Charizard V Altar and the Rainbow Charizard. Both would be absolutely delicious, let me tell you. Any of these uh, 10 cards would be absolutely insanely awesome to pull. Um, yeah, suffice to say, I am pumped. So let's go get a hit right away. Can you imagine if we actually pull this off in 20 packs? I don't have a ton of hope for it, but I mean, we have to try. We have to try. Is there any cards in uh, 2022 out of these four sets that you think should have made the list but didn't? Let me know uh, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite card of 2022? Maybe it's not even worth that much. There's a Jolteon Trainer Gallery. I have pulled that one before. And do we have, ooh baby, we have got something in the back here. I think, I don't know what it is. Three, two, one. Whimsicott V-Star. I pulled that one uh, on a recent video actually. So not the most amazing, still pretty nice. I do like that. And we got the Jolteon. Give that a sleeve up as well. Okay, back with some more sleeves. Just in case I ran out. Um, didn't actually run out. I just needed to go grab some more from the cupboard. Uh, that was a nice kind of start to Brilliant Stars. I can't say that I was super pumped with it because it would have been just absolutely amazing to hit an Altar right off the bat. But can't be greedy either. Let's go into uh, Professor's Research Hollow Hit. All right, we got two more chances for two more cards from Brilliant Stars. And then we're moving on to Astral Radiance. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you all is what is your favorite set out of 2022? Out of these four, I know there are some of the um, Specialty sets that came out as well. Duskmar, that's also a hollow hit, but nothing too special. Um, but out of these four, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, and Silver Tempest, what set do you like the best? I think 
my answer is still Brilliant Stars because of that Rainbow Charizard. Like, I don't know what it is about that card. I just love it. That being said, I keep talking about that Giratina, so my stuff, could, my opinion could change. There's a Dust Noir Trainer Gallery into a Heatran. I don't think I've ever pulled this Dust Noir before. So it is number six. Nothing too fancy, but still pretty awesome. That is it for Brilliant Stars. So we uh, did not get there on Brilliant Stars. Next up, Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance has three chances. We're looking for, the most expensive one is that Machamp in the marketplace. But both of those origin form Pokemon, Palkia and Dialga, all made that top uh, 10 list as well. So we got three cards that we could pull to achieve victory in this video. Otherwise, we're on to uh, the last two sets of 2022. Okay, so my camera just died. So I'm starting back where it ended off. So if it looked like a little glitchy, that's the reason my camera was full. Uh, like I had to delete other videos. Shocker. Anyways, we got something on this set here. Three, two, one, Machamp! VMAX! Let's go, that card looks absolutely slick. Zero, seven, three, out of 189. There is a hit out of Astral Radiance. That is really, really awesome. Looks really slick. The colors on that uh, Machamp look really, really good. Come on, baby. If only it was the other Machamp. Like, you know, the one that's worth $120? That'd be nice, hey? That would be nice. Come on. All right. We are on. Um, was that our first pack of Astro Radiance? I think so. Weird Ear, Trainer Gallery, into a Cleaver, Hollow. Man, the hits are coming, but... Uh, A lot of just regular hollows recently, which I mean, cool, but not that cool, right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Still on the search. Manti, Growlithe, Togekiss. There is another hollow. Another hollow. So the code cards have probably all been good. I'm not looking at them because I like the sweat of it. But there, uh, I'd like to do a little better than just hollow. That Machamp is pretty cool though. Okay, come on. We need one of these top 10 cards. Registeel, not hollow. Last pack of Astro Radiance, so. We went kind of over. Actually, we got the V Star Limsathot on Brilliant Stars. We got the Machamp V Max on Astral Radiance. And we got one more shot with Astral Radiance to get the job done. Looking for the Machamp Alt Art or the Origin Form Dialga or Palkia Alt Art. Roxanne into a Vespa Queen, a non hollow. Okay, we are moving into Lost Origin. There is three cards in this set that made the top 10 value list of 2022. We got the Giratina Altar, we got the Aerodactyl Altar, and we got the Pikachu VMAX Trainer Gallery. So look for that in the second slot. That would be dynamite if we could pull that Lampant into an Ariados non hollow. So many cards in Lost Origin that I want to pull. So many cards that I haven't pulled yet. Well, there's the energy, so I screwed that up. Um, I feel like I've opened quite a bit of Lost Origin and have not had very good luck with the set. The best luck I've had with any set on the channel so far is easily Chilling Rain. Well, this is a V card. Enamorous V, pulled that one before, but a very cool looking card. I like the colors on it a lot. 
Um, yeah, Chilling Rain has been really good to me. And Evolving Skies has completely kicked my butt, probably like it has to a lot of you. Uh, the pull rates just seem to be absolutely awful on it for me. But I just keep searching because there's so many good cards in that set. How do you stop? It's getting expensive though. Um, Polygraph, Dugong. Lost Origin hasn't been that good to me. Silver Tempest has been okay, I want to say. Um, I don't know. Just gotta keep going. I can't wait for Crown Xena. It looks breathtaking to say the least. It comes out, depending on what day this video comes out, it's gonna be this week that it comes out. Oh baby, three, two, one. Drapion V-Star. I think I have pulled this one as well. So getting some repeat action. I'm gonna be honest, my heart skipped a beat on that one. That was, uh, anytime you see those cool looking borders. Speaking of borders, I still haven't been able to find the new Paldia boxes with Sprigatito, Quaxley, and Fuicoco. Um, but they have those three promo cards at the starters. Actually, I think there's two versions of each of them. And uh, the silver borders. I am starting to buy into them a little bit. Looks awesome. Comfy. Okay, so we have had some hits for sure. A pretty decent array of hits. That being said, we haven't pulled a top 10 card yet. Silver Tempest is our last chance. We got two shots at it. Four, the Rayquaza VMAX Trainer Gallery card, worth $48.41. That was the number 10 card. And the number two card, the Lugia V Altar. That's the one we really want. Can we pull it out of just five packs? The odds say no. But all it takes is one. That's the deal with Pokemon. All it takes is one. We got four packs left. Let's do this thing. Come on. Come on. Smash the like button. If you like this content, make sure you're subscribed. I'm opening Pokemon cards multiple times a week. We got Jinx into a Metacham. Hollow. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you think, what your favorites are, what's your favorite card on this list, what your favorite pack is. Just tell me what's up. I respond to all comments currently because my channel is small enough. Um, I want to get to know you guys. Maybe I, a few of you have said that I should start a Discord. I don't know if the community is quite big enough yet. I'm still getting started, still getting into the swing of things, but that would be awesome. Melotic. Uh, two packs left, but the growth is real. It continues to happen. And uh, yeah, I'm loving every bit of it. Love opening Pokemon cards. I even like the editing and uh, just like putting it up, learning more and more about YouTube. So let's just keep it going. Keep it going. Thanks for being here. Dratini. Got my little Dratini in the back behind me. Absolutely beauty. Fungus into a forest seal stone. All right, we need some last pack magic. Silver Tempest has actually been the, uh, maybe the worst to us. You think? I think. So last pack magic, here we come. Come on, Jinx, Brandon, Krogon, Slosis, Elgium, Fungus, Zubat, Swablu, Yellow Border, Arcanine. That's gonna do it. Quick recap here. We didn't pull any of the top 10 cards. We didn't even pull any of the honorable mentions. We did pull Weird Ear, Dusk Noir, Drapion V-Star, Jolteon, Trainer Gallery, Enamorous V, 
This might be the coolest card we pulled today, the Machamp VMAX. That looks, Machamp looks possessed. Looks awesome. And finally, the Whimsicott V-Star. There it is. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Colin. This is the Pokey Office. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that subscribe button and the like button. Help me grow on YouTube. And I will see you on my next video.